Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to remove hum and rumble from audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what I have here on the timeline is just a quick little clip of Eric Surf 6 on a train in Japan. And there's a lot of like low level rumble as the train's moving and as uh, like the air conditioning and stuff is running. So you get a lot of that kind of low frequency rumble. So I'll just let you give a little listen and then we're gonna show you how to fix it. Points. Just add it up. 65, you got 435, you got exactly 500. So you went, prize is. Okay, so this is actually a very simple fix. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our effects, go to audio effects, and then go down to parametric equalizer. I'm just gonna drag that onto here. And then we'll just go to edit. And then as you can see, we can adjust a bunch of different frequencies. We have a low frequency shelf and a high frequency shelf. Uh, we'll just go up here to presets and then we'll go to high pass. And this can generally remove a lot of that low level rumble that's caused by air conditioning, in this case, moving train, and just a lot of that kind of low rumble of stuff. You see this a lot in like cities. So if you want to eliminate that kind of low level rumble, this is a very easy way to do it. And of course, from here, you can kind of tweak it and peak it if you want to. But generally, this is more than enough to eliminate that. So now we're going to go ahead and listen to how it sounds with it on. You win a beer, Kieran beer. That's right. How old are you? 18. Oh. Too bad, the drinking age in Japan is 20. And so as you've heard, the background low level rumbles, hum, and all that kind of stuff has been eliminated. You can go into this a bit further by tweaking the equalizer settings. You can also add an adaptive noise reducer if you'd like, but this is just the general basic way to eliminate just that background rumbly noise. So yeah, that's how you can remove hum and rumble from audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you like this tutorial, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials. And if you have a question about Adobe Premiere Pro, be sure to leave it in the comments down below and your question could be the next tutorial. This is the Andy San, sign out for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.